The Ural Mountains, Russian, Uralski Gori Tr. Uralskia Gori, IPA, RALSKJ Gor, Bashkir, Ural Tauzari Ural Tauzari, or simply the Urals, are a mountain range that runs approximately from north to south through western Russia, from the coast of the Arctic Ocean to the Ural River and northwestern Kazakhstan. The mountain range forms part of the conventional boundary between the continents of Europe and Asia. Vagach Island and the islands of Novaya Zemlya form a further continuation of the chain to the north into the Arctic Ocean. The mountains lie within the Ural geographical region and significantly overlap with the Ural Federal District and with the Ural Economic Region. They have rich resources, including metal ores, coal, precious and semi-precious stones. Since the 18th century the mountains have contributed significantly to the mineral sector of the Russian economy. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> As attested by Sigismund von Herberstein, in the 16th century Russians called the range by a variety of names derived from the Russian words for rock stone, and belt. The modern Russian name for the Urals, Ural Ural, first appearing in the 16th-17th century when the Russian conquest of Siberia was in its heroic phase, was initially applied to its southern parts and gained currency as the name of the entire range during the 18th century. It might have been a borrowing from either Turkic stone belt. Bashkir, where the same name is used for the range, or Ob Ugric. From the 13th century, in Bashkortostan there has been a legend about a hero named Ural. He sacrificed his life for the sake of his people and they poured a stone pile over his grave, which later turned into the Ural Mountains. Possibilities include Bashkir R. Elevation, Upland, and Mansi Ur Allah, Mountain Peak, Top of the Mountain. V. N. Tadichev believes that this oronym is set to belt and associates it with the Turkic verb oralu, gird. I.G. Dobrodomov suggests a transition from Aral to Ural explained on the basis of ancient Bulgar Chuvash dialects. Geographer E.V. Hawks believes that the name goes back to the Bashkir folklore Ural Badr. The Avenk geographical term era, mountain, has also been theorized. Finno-Ugrist scholars consider Ural deriving from the Ostiak word urr meaning, chain of mountains. Turkologists, on the other hand, have achieved majority support for their assertion that Ural in Tatar means a belt, and recall that an earlier name for the range was Stone Belt. History As Middle Eastern merchants traded with the Bashkirs and other people living on the western slopes of the Ural as far north as Great Perm, since at least the 10th century medieval Mideastern geographers had been aware of the existence of the mountain range in its entirety, stretching as far as to the Arctic Ocean in the north. The first Russian mention of the mountains to the east of the East European Plain is provided by the Primary Chronicle, when it describes the Novgorodian expedition to the upper reaches of the Pechora in 1096. During the next few centuries Novgorodians engaged in fur trading with the local population and collected tribute from Ugra and Great Perm, slowly expanding southwards. The rivers Chusovaya and Balea were first mentioned in the chronicles of 1396 and 1468, respectively. In 1430 the town of Solokosk Kama Salt was founded on the Kama at the foothills of the Ural, where salt was produced in open pans. Ivan III of Moscow captured Perm, Pechora and Ugra from the declining Novgorod Republic in 1472. With the excursions of 1483 and 1499-1500 across the Ural Moscow managed to subjugate Ugra completely. Nevertheless, around that time early 16th century Polish geographer Maciej of Michał in his influential Tractatus de Duibus Sarmatis 1517 argued that there were no mountains in Eastern Europe at all, challenging the point of view of some authors of classical antiquity, popular during the Renaissance. Only after Sigismund von Herberstein in his Notes on Muscovite Affairs 1549 had reported, following Russian sources, that there are mountains behind the Pechora and identified them with the Riffians and Hyperboreans of ancient authors, did the existence of the Ural, or at least of its northern part, become firmly established in the Western geography. The Middle and Southern Ural were still largely unavailable and unknown to the Russian or Western European geographers. In the 1550s, after the Serdom of Russia had defeated the Khanate of Kazan and proceeded to gradually annex the lands of the Bashkirs, the Russians finally reached the southern part of the mountain chain. In 1574 they founded Ufa. 
The upper reaches of the Kama and Chusovaya in the Middle Ural, still unexplored, as well as parts of Transuralia still held by the hostile Siberian Khanate, were granted to the Stroganovs by several decrees of the Tsar in 1558–1574. The Stroganovs' land provided the staging ground for Yermak's incursion into Siberia. Yermak crossed the Ural from the Chusovaya to the Tagil around 1581. In 1597 Babinov's road was built across the Ural from Solokosk to the valley of the Tura, where the town of Verkhodary was founded in 1598. Customs was established in Verkhodary shortly thereafter and the road was made the only legal connection between European Russia and Siberia for a long time. In 1648 the town of Kungor was founded at the western foothills of the Middle Ural. During the 17th century the first deposits of iron and copper ores, mica, gemstones and other minerals were discovered in the Ural. Iron and copper smelting works emerged. They multiplied particularly quickly during the reign of Peter I of Russia. In 1720–1722 he commissioned Vasily Tatishchev to oversee and develop the mining and smelting works in the Ural. Tatishchev proposed a new copper smelting factory in Yegashika, which would eventually become the core of the city of Perm and a new iron smelting factory on the Iset, which would become the largest in the world at the time of construction and give birth to the city of Yekaterinburg. Both factories were actually founded by Tatishchev's successor, Georg Wilhelm de Genin, in 1723. Tatishchev returned to the Ural on the order of Empress Anna to succeed de Genin in 1734–1737. Transportation of the output of the smelting works to the markets of European Russia necessitated the construction of the Siberian route from Yekaterinburg across the Ural to Kungor and Yegashika and further to Moscow, which was completed in 1763 and rendered Babinov's road obsolete. In 1745 gold was discovered in the Ural at Bryazovskoy and later at other deposits. It has been mined since 1747. The first ample geographic survey of the Ural Mountains was completed in the early 18th century by the Russian historian and geographer Vasily Tatishchev under the orders of Peter I. Earlier, in the 17th century, rich ore deposits were discovered in the mountains and their systematic extraction began in the early 18th century, eventually turning the region into the largest mineral base of Russia. One of the first scientific descriptions of the mountains was published in 1770 to 71. Over the next century, the region was studied by scientists from a number of countries, including Russia geologist Alexander Karpinsky, botanist Porfiry Krylov and zoologist Leonid Sabaniev, the United Kingdom geologist Sir Roderick Murchison, France paleontologist Edouard de Vernoy, and Germany naturalist Alexander von Humboldt, geologist Alexander Kaiserling. In 1845, Murchison, who had according to Encyclopædia Britannica, compiled the first geologic map of the Ural in 1841." Published the geology of Russia in Europe and the Ural Mountains with de Vernoy and Kaiserling, the first railway across the Ural had been built by 1878 and linked Perm to Yekaterinburg via Chusevoy, Kushva and Nizhny Tagil. In 1890 a railway linked Ufa and Chelyabinsk via Zalatoust. In 1896 this section became a part of the Trans-Siberian Railway. In 1909 yet another railway connecting Perm and Yekaterinburg passed through Kungor by the way of the Siberian route. It has eventually replaced the Ufa-Chelyabinsk section as the main trunk of the Trans-Siberian Railway. The highest peak of the Ural, Mount Narodnaya, elevation 1,895 metres was identified in 1927. During the Soviet industrialization in the 1930s the city of Magnitogorsk was founded in the southeastern Ural as a center of iron smelting and steelmaking. During the German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941–1942, the mountains became a key element in Nazi planning for the territories which they expected to conquer in the USSR. Faced with the threat of having a significant part of the Soviet territories occupied by the enemy, the government evacuated many of the industrial enterprises of European Russia and Ukraine to the eastern foothills of the Ural, considered a safe place out of reach of the German bombers and troops. Three giant tank factories were established at the Ural Mash in Sverdlovsk as Yekaterinburg used to be known, Ural Vagonzavod in Nizhny Tagil, and Chelyabinsk tractor plant in Chelyabinsk. After the war, in 1947–1948, Chum, Labitnangi Railway, built with the forced labor of Gulag inmates, crossed the polar Ural. 
Mayak, 150 km southeast of Yekaterinburg, was a center of the Soviet nuclear industry and site of the Kishtim disaster. Geography and topography The Ural Mountains extend about 2,500 kilometres from the Kara Sea to the Kazakh Steppe along the northern border of Kazakhstan. Vagach Island and the island of Novaya Zemlya form a further continuation of the chain on the north. Geographically this range marks the northern part of the border between the continents of Europe and Asia. Its highest peak is Mount Narodnaya, approximately 1,895 metres in elevation. By topography and other natural features, the Urals are divided, from north to south, into the polar or arctic, nether polar or sub-arctic, northern, central and southern parts. <laughs> polar Ural The Polar Urals extend for about 385 kilometers, 239 miles from Mount Konstantinov Cayman in the north to the Kulga River in the south. They have an area of about 25,000 square kilometers, 9,700 square miles and a strongly dissected relief. The maximum height is 1,499 meters, 4,918 feet at Payer Mountain and the average height is 1,000 to 1,100 meters, 3,300 to 3,600 feet. The mountains of the Polar Ural have exposed rock with sharp ridges, though flattened or rounded tops are also found. Topic: <laughs> Nether Polar Ural The Nether Polar Ural are higher and up to 150 kilometers 93 miles wider than the Polar Urals. They include the highest peaks of the range, Mount Narodnaya, 1895 meters, 6217 feet, Mount Kurpinsky, 1878 meters, 6161 feet, and Manaraga, 1662 meters, 5453 feet. They extend for more than 225 kilometers, 140 miles, south to the Shujor River. The many ridges are sawtooth-shaped and dissected by river valleys. Both polar and nether polar Urals are typically alpine. They bear traces of Pleistocene glaciation, along with permafrost and extensive modern glaciation, including 143 extant glaciers. Topic: Northern Ural. The northern Ural consists of a series of parallel ridges up to 1,000 to 1,200 meters (3,300 to 3,900 feet) in height and longitudinal hollows. They are elongated from north to south and stretch for about 560 kilometers (350 miles) from the USA River. Most of the tops are flattened, but those of the highest mountains, such as Telpases, 1,617 meters (5,305 feet), and Konzakovsky Stone, 1,569 meters (5,148 feet), have a dissected topography. Intensive weathering has produced vast areas of eroded stone on the mountain slopes and summits of the northern areas. Topic: <laughs> Middle Ural. The central Ural are the lowest part of the Ural, with smooth mountain tops, the highest mountain being 994 metres 3,261 feet Basagi, they extend south from the Ufa River. <laughs> Southern Ural The relief of the Southern Ural is more complex, with numerous valleys and parallel ridges directed southwest and meridionally. The range includes the Ilmensky Mountains separated from the main ridges by the Mias River. The maximum height is 1,640 metres 5,380 feet Mount Yamantau and the width reaches 250 kilometres 160 miles. Other notable peaks lie along the Irmal Mountain Ridge Bolshoi Irmal and Meili Irmal. The southern Urals extend some 550 kilometers 340 miles up to the sharp westward bend of the Ural River and terminate in the wide Mugaltser Hills. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geology. The Urals are among the world's oldest extant mountain ranges. For its age of 250 to 300 million years of age, the elevation of the mountains is unusually high. 
They were formed during the Euralian orogeny due to the collision of the eastern edge of the supercontinent Laurussia with the young and rheologically weak continent of Kazakhstania, which now underlies much of Kazakhstan and West Siberia west of the Irtysh, and intervening island arcs. The collision lasted nearly 90 million years in the late Carboniferous, early Triassic. Unlike the other major origins of the Paleozoic Appalachians, Caledonides, Vericities, the Urals have not undergone post-orogenic extensional collapse and are unusually well preserved for their age, being underlaid by a pronounced crustal root. East and south of the Urals much of the origin is buried beneath later Mesozoic and Cenozoic sediments. The adjacent Pei Khoi Ridge to the north and Novaya Zemlya are not a part of the Uralian origin and formed later. Many deformed and metamorphosed rocks, mostly of Paleozoic age, surface within the Urals. The sedimentary and volcanic layers are folded and faulted. The sediments to the west of the Ural Mountains are formed of limestone, dolomite and sandstone left from ancient shallow seas. The eastern side is dominated by basalts. The western slope of the Ural Mountains has predominantly karst topography, especially in the Silva River Basin, which is a tributary of the Chusovaya River. It is composed of severely eroded sedimentary rocks sandstones and limestones that are about 350 million years old. There are many caves, sinkholes and underground streams. The karst topography is much less developed on the eastern slopes. The eastern slopes are relatively flat, with some hills and rocky outcrops and contain alternating volcanic and sedimentary layers dated to the Middle Paleozoic era. Most high mountains consist of weather-resistant rocks such as quartzite, schist and gabbro that are between 570 and 395 million years old. The river valleys are underlain by limestone. The Ural Mountains contain about 48 species of economically valuable ores and economically valuable minerals. Eastern regions are rich in chalcopyrite, nickel oxide, gold, platinum, chromite and magnetite ores, as well as in coal Chelyabinsk oblast, bauxite, talc, fireclay and abrasives. The western Urals contain deposits of coal, oil, natural gas and, Krasnikamsk areas and potassium salts. Both slopes are rich in bituminous coal and lignite, and the largest deposit of bituminous coal is in the north Pechora field. The specialty of the Urals is precious and semi-precious stones, such as emerald, amethyst, aquamarine, jasper, rhodonite, malachite and diamond. Some of the deposits, such as the magnetite ores at Magnitogorsk, are already nearly depleted. <inaudible> <inaudible> rivers and lakes Many rivers originate in the Ural Mountains. The western slopes south of the border between the Komi Republic and Perm Krai and the eastern slopes south of approximately 54 degrees 30 and drain into the Caspian Sea via the Kama and Ural River basins. The tributaries of the Kama include the Vishara, Chusovaya, and Balaya and originate on both the eastern and western slopes. The rest of the Urals drain into the Arctic Ocean, mainly via the Pechora Basin in the west, which includes the Illich, Shujor, and the USA, and via the Ob Basin in the east, which includes the Tobol, Tabda, Iset, Tura and Severnaya Sosva. The rivers are frozen for more than half the year. Generally, the western rivers have higher flow volume than the eastern ones, especially in the northern and nether polar regions. Rivers are slower in the southern Urals. This is because of low precipitation and the relatively warm climate resulting in less snow and more evaporation. The mountains contain a number of deep lakes. The eastern slopes of the southern and central Urals have most of these, among the largest of which are the Uvildi, Itkal, Turgoyak, and Tavatai lakes. The lakes found on the western slopes are less numerous and also smaller. Lake Bolshoi Shuchya, the deepest lake in the polar Urals, is 136 meters (446 feet) deep. Other lakes, too, are found in the glacial valleys of this region. Spas and sanatoriums have been built to take advantage of the medicinal muds found in some of the mountain lakes. Climate The climate of the Urals is continental. The mountain ridges, elongated from north to south, effectively absorb sunlight thereby increasing the temperature. The areas west of the Ural Mountains are 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, 1.8 to 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer in winter than the eastern regions because the former are warmed by Atlantic winds whereas the eastern slopes are chilled by Siberian air masses. 
The average January temperatures increase in the western areas from minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit in the polar to minus 15 degrees Celsius 5 degrees Fahrenheit in the southern Urals and the corresponding temperatures in July are 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The western areas also receive more rainfall than the eastern ones by 150 to 300 mm in per year. This is because the mountains trap clouds from the Atlantic Ocean. The highest precipitation, approximately 1,000 mm in, is in the northern Urals with up to 1,000 cm 390 in snow. The eastern areas receive from 500 to 600 mm 20 to 24 in in the north to 300 to 400 mm 12 to 16 in in the south. Maximum precipitation occurs in the summer. The winter is dry because of the Siberian high. Topic: <inaudible> Flora. <inaudible> the landscapes of the Urals vary with both latitude and longitude and are dominated by forests and steppes. The southern area of the Mugaltser Hills is a semi-desert. Steppes lie mostly in the southern and especially southeastern Urals. Meadow steppes have developed on the lower parts of mountain slopes and are covered with zigzag and mountain clovers, Saratula g. malini, dropwort, meadow grass and bromus inermes, reaching the height of 60 to 80 cm. Much of the land is cultivated. To the south, the meadow steppes become more sparse, dry and low. The steep gravelly slopes of the mountains and hills of the eastern slopes of the southern Urals are mostly covered with rocky steppes. River valleys contain willow, poplar and karagana shrubs. Forest landscapes of the Urals are diverse, especially in the southern part. The western areas are dominated by dark coniferous taiga forests which change to mixed and deciduous forests in the south. The eastern mountain slopes have light coniferous taiga forests. The northern Urals are dominated by conifers, namely Siberian fir, Siberian pine, Scots pine, Siberian spruce, Norway spruce and Siberian larch, as well as by silver and downy birches. The forests are much sparser in the polar Urals. Whereas in other parts of the Ural Mountains they grow up to an altitude of 1,000 meters, in the polar Urals the tree line is at 250 to 400 meters. The polar forests are low and are mixed with swamps, lichens, bogs and shrubs. Dwarf birch, mosses and berries blueberry, cloudberry, black crowberry, etc. are abundant. The forests of the southern Urals are the most diverse in composition, here, together with coniferous forests are also abundant broadleaf tree species such as English oak, Norway maple and elm. The virgin Komi forests in the northern Urals are recognized as a World Heritage Site. Fauna <laughs> <laughs> The Ural forests are inhabited by animals typical of Siberia, such as elk, brown bear, fox, wolf, wolverine, lynx, squirrel, and sable north only. Because of the easy accessibility of the mountains there are no specifically mountainous species. In the middle Urals, one can see a rare mixture of sable and pine marten named caduce. In the southern Urals, badger and black polecat are common. Reptiles and amphibians live mostly in the southern and central Ural and are represented by the common viper, lizards and grass snakes. Bird species are represented by capercaillie, black grouse, hazel grouse, spotted nutcracker, and cuckoos. In summers, the south and middle Urals are visited by songbirds, such as nightingale and redstart. The steppes of the southern Urals are dominated by hares and rodents such as gophers, susliks, and gerboa. There are many birds of prey such as lesser kestrel and buzzards. The animals of the polar Urals are few and are characteristic of the tundra, they include arctic fox, tundra partridge, lemming, and reindeer. The birds of these areas include rough-legged buzzard, snowy owl, and rock ptarmigan. Ecology <inaudible> 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 The continuous and intensive economic development of the last centuries has affected the fauna, and wildlife is much diminished around all industrial centers. During World War II, hundreds of factories were evacuated from western Russia before the German occupation, flooding the Urals with industry. The conservation measures include establishing national wildlife parks. 
There are nine strict nature reserves in the Urals, the Ilmen, the oldest one, mineralogical reserve founded in 1920 in Chelyabinsk Oblast, Pechora Ilich in the Komi Republic, Bashkir and its former branch Shulgan Tash in Bashkortostan, Vizim in Sverdlovsk Oblast, Southern Ural in Bashkortostan, Basagi in Perm Krai, Vishara in Perm Krai and Denishkan Kaiman in Sverdlovsk Oblast. The area has also been severely damaged by the plutonium producing facility Mayak opened in Chelyabinsk 40, later called Chelyabinsk 65, Oziorsk, in the southern Ural, after World War II. Its plants went into operation in 1948 and, for the first ten years, dumped unfiltered radioactive waste into the Techa River and Lake Karachay. In 1990, efforts were underway to contain the radiation in one of the lakes, which was estimated at the time to expose visitors to 500 millirem per day. As of 2006, 500 mrem in the natural environment was the upper limit of exposure considered safe for a member of the general public in an entire year though workplace exposure over a year could exceed that by a factor of 10. Over 23,000 square kilometers 8,900 square miles of land were contaminated in 1957 from a storage tank explosion, only one of several serious accidents that further polluted the region. The 1957 accident expelled 20 million curies of radioactive material, 90% of which settled into the land immediately around the facility. Although some reactors of Mayak were shut down in 1987 and 1990, the facility keeps producing plutonium. Topic: <laughs> Cultural significance. The Urals have been viewed by Russians as a treasure box of mineral resources, which were the basis for its extensive industrial development. In addition to iron and copper the Urals were a source of gold, malachite, alexandrite, and other gems such as those used by the court jeweler Fabergé. As Russians in other regions gather mushrooms or berries, Uralians gather mineral specimens and gems. Dmitry Mamin Sibiryak (1852–1912), Pavel Bazihov (1879–1950), as well as Alexei Ivanov and Olga Slavnikova, post-Soviet writers, have written of the region. The region served as a military stronghold during Peter the Great's Great Northern War with Sweden, during Stalin's rule when the Magnitogorsk metallurgical complex was built and Russian industry relocated to the Urals during the Nazi advance at the beginning of World War II, and as the center of the Soviet nuclear industry during the. Cold War. Extreme levels of air, water, and radiological contamination and pollution by industrial wastes resulted. Population exodus resulted, an economic depression at the time of the collapse of the Soviet Union, but in post-Soviet times additional mineral exploration, particularly in the northern Urals, has been productive and the region has attracted industrial investment. See also Ujid VA National Park Dyatlov Pass Incident East Ural Radioactive Trace Idle Ural State Pangaea Research Range Ural Mountains in Nazi Planning Topic. References Topic. External links Peakbagger Com page on the Ural Mountains Ural Expeditions and Tours page on the five parts of the Ural Mountains.